Hello my Amors and welcome. Today we are going to do an open channeled message. So this is not a pick a card, okay? But this is an open channeled message where we will flow with whatever messages that we will get. But I am going to focus on a specific topic for today and that is all about what he wants to tell you and what is he currently thinking about you so this reading will specifically focus on a man that you are dealing with okay and i will be channeling what's going on in this connection what's happening between the both of you etc so yeah we are going to take a look at that and also i want to say sorry if sometimes i might cough a little bit because i am having a cough so sometimes i might you know get a little bit of cough so i apologize for that but i am doing my best so yeah let's go so let me light up this candle for you. Okay, so I just want to also announce that I have a Discord server where you can join in, you can come and join the community and we will talk about art, spirituality, tarot readings and so much more. It is a beautiful community where we can learn with each other, support each other and be a family. So if you want to join my Discord, you can go ahead and check out the links down below in the description and also in the pinned comments over there you will also find links to my social media and my website so make sure that you also follow my instagram and also chat with me if you have any questions and if you want to book a reading with me as well you can go ahead and check out my website for the complete information okay all right so before we start this reading i want to show you a list of all the points that we will be talking about in this reading on the screen right now so you can see it on the screen right now so in this reading I am going to take a look at what does he really want to say to you what is he thinking about you right now and what should you know about him now and I will also be providing an extended reading video so if you resonate with this reading and you would like to listen to more message you can purchase the extended reading video and the link is also down below in the description and in the extended we are going to take a look at how does he truly feel about you and will he say it this person's future action towards you and when and also more future prediction about this connection between you and this person Okay, so with that being said, let's start this reading and begin with our first point, which is about what does he really want to say to you? So I will use my tarot cards and also my direct messages notes over here for specific messages. So let's take a look. First of all, I am also going to describe your person so that you can make sure that this is the person that you have in mind and that this reading is for you. But I gotta say, my amours, I feel that for some of you, you are dealing with two different people or that you will be dealing with two different people. One person may be, maybe this one person is your soulmate and the other is your twin flame but for some others of you you may be just dealing with one person <coughs> so yeah it depends of course i am reading for a lot of people so for some of you you may be dealing with two people for some of you you may be dealing with just one person Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a lot of cards to begin with and let me tidy up these cards first and I will tell you what's going on. Okay, so exactly what I just said. You might be dealing with two different people, okay? You might be dealing with two different people over here or that you will be dealing with two different people. One person is your soulmate, the other person is your soulmate, or one person is your soulmate and the other person is your twin flame. So you may be dealing with either soulmates or a soulmate and a twin flame. It's up to you, okay? It's up to you. Don't get too stressed out about it, of course. All right, so let me tell you, we have two kings over here we have the king of cups and the king of pentacles okay we have the king of cups and the king of pentacles two kings and this is so crazy because this reading is literally about what is he thinking about you and what does he want to say to you so there are two masculine figures there are two men over here that is thinking about you and they have something to say to you okay the king of cups and the king of pentacles so for the king of cups we have the ace of cups card to represent his emotions and what he wants to say to you and for the king of pentacles we have the ten of cups to represent what is he uh, thinking about his emotions and also what he has to say to you so the king of cups with the ace of cups the king of pentacles with the ten of cups as you can see both men are being represented by water elements okay the king of cups is the king of water and he is being represented as the ace of cups which is a water element as well as for the king of pentacles which is the king of earth he is also being represented by a water element which is the ten of cups water element is all about our deep emotion our emotional intelligence the water element in tarot cards always represents our spirituality, our intuition, the love that we have within our heart, the love that we have for other people. It's about romance as well. Like literally, it's about romance. So I can definitely tell you that there are two people or that there will be two different people that have feelings for you, okay? So the differences between these two men are this. Uh, first of all, let's, let's take a look at the King of Cups. So the King of Cups with the Ace of Cups. What I see over here is that this is someone that is emotionally mature. This person is not afraid to show their emotions this person is not afraid to express their feelings to you this person definitely has a lot of love for you and this person has a lot of peace within themselves as well or they want to bring peace into this connection with you this person wants to go with the flow by building something stable by building something strong and solid within this connection with you and this person is ready to give you their cup of love which is the ace of cups okay the king of cups is someone that is ready to give you that cup of romance that cup of love that cup of commitment so this is someone that is coming in with a solid offer this is someone that wants a committed relationship with you so the other person, which is the King of Pentacles, being represented with the Ten of Cups over here. This person is somebody that is insanely in love with you. This person is in really, really in love with you. And this person wants marriage with you. Okay? This person wants marriage with you. They want stability with you. But I think that this person is really sad right now. 
I feel like this person is really sad. Okay, my amours, let me tell you, I feel that for a lot of you who's watching this video, you already know who this King of Pentacles is. But for the King of Cups, this person could be someone new that you haven't met just yet. Okay, so you will, you probably will meet somebody new that will be that will be represented as the king of cups and the ace of cups okay this is someone new that you haven't met just yet so probably you will meet someone new that is emotionally intelligent that is very expressive with what they think and how they feel towards you this is someone that immediately finds that chemistry, that spark that they feel towards you and they will make themselves known for you. Okay, this person will show up for you. This person is not shy. This person wants you and you alone, okay? This person is somebody that is probably new, so you haven't met this person just yet. But if you feel that you have met this person already, then you can definitely still take this message to your life okay again i am reading for a lot of people so take whichever resonate according to your own real situation okay but for most of you i feel that this king of cups is being represented as somebody that is probably new so you haven't met them just yet but i feel the need to go a little bit deeper into the king of pentacles first because you already know who this person is okay this person has been in your life probably for a pretty long time maybe you have known this king of pentacles for a couple of years or maybe for a couple of months but but i feel that you know this person for a couple of years at least <clears throat> this king of pentacles okay you know this person for a couple of years at least okay so i am going to give you some description about this king of pentacles so that you can make sure that oh you know this is the person that i'm talking about so the king of pentacles could be a capricorn a virgo or a taurus okay so this person could be an earth sign this person could also be a water sign <clears throat> so maybe they have let's say a water sign sun sign or moon sign and their rising sign is an earth sign so it could be a combination of those elements when it comes to their zodiac signs okay so this person that you you have been dealing with i feel that you you know probably you have dated this person already or that you were or are still in a situationship with this person okay or maybe you were actually in a relationship with this person or at least you dated this person or maybe you are still dating this person again remember there's a lot of you who's watching this video so take whichever resonates according to your real situation okay but you definitely you, you have known this person for quite a while okay this king of pentacles you have known this person for quite a while so i feel that this person really wants to build something long and meaningful with you they want to have something solid with you they want to have something stable you know with you they they want a relationship i can definitely see that they are in love with you they see you as the one and this person wants to tell you that they see you as the one they see you as their future spouse they see you as their one and true love and that they want marriage with you this is what they really want to tell you but somehow they are not telling this that's the problem okay this person is not telling this to uh, not not telling any of this to you that is the problem so let's take a look at these three cards that we have we have the death card 
I feel that for a lot of you, my amours, you are going through a lot of changes in your life, a lot of transformation in your life. And then we have the Strength card. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles card. A lot of you are going through major changes in your life. Okay? You're going through major changes in your life. I feel that for a lot of you, my amours, you are trying to find strength within yourself to, to build something meaningful for yourself. First of all, you are focusing on yourself or that you should focus on yourself. Something might have happened recently where you had to let go of something. And you are in the process of finding strength to move on from it or to change something about yourself or to change something about your life. And I see that you are moving towards this new beginning that is being represented as the Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new solid beginning, a new chapter for you that is filled with abundance, opportunity, money, wealth, success. That is exactly the path that you are going to in your life. So I see that with all of these changes happening in your life, I, I can also tell you that you have finally learned the lesson to make better decision with, for yourself, okay? W within yourself as well. It's okay to sometimes make the wrong decisions because that's how we learn our lessons. But I see that you... Well, you have learned your lessons and now you have learned how to make better decision, even though it might not always be the right decision, but at least you have learned how to be able to make better decision in your life. And I see that that is what you are currently focusing in. I do see that you are attracting love. Okay, you are attracting love. And the more that you focus on your glow up, you know, I see that a lot of you are going through a glow up right now. The more that you are focusing on your own glow up, <clears throat> on your own improvement, you know, empowering yourself, focusing on yourself, working on yourself, the more that you will attract people into your life, the more that you will attract abundance and opportunities into your life as well. So with that being said, I can definitely tell you that these are, these two men, okay, these two men, they are going to be the main two characters in your love life that will make a huge impact in your life, okay? So at least there will be two different men the king of pentacles and the king of cups that will be in your love life that will have the main energy like you know like the main energy impact in your life it will be these two men the king of pentacles and the king of cups so i feel that in the end you need to make your own decision, what you want to do about this, what you want in your love life, who do you really want, okay? You need to make that decision. And I will help you, I will bring you guidances, I will channel some messages and give you some advices, what would be the best decision for you as well, based on the cards that I'm seeing and the energy I'm picking up, okay? Okay, I see. Let me see. Uh, okay, so I want to use my direct messages notes over here and I want to channel some more direct messages as to what these two men would like to say to you. Okay, 
So for those of you who have not met the King of Cups just yet, you can take this message as a way of what this person would say to you, what would they want with you when you actually meet this person, okay? But if you have met this person already, then of course, this is a direct message to you from this person as to what they wish they could tell you. So I'm going to channel messages for each of these two men so we can clearly, you know, we can clearly see a comparison of energy between what, what's really going on with these two people, okay? So first of all, I am going to start with the King of Pentacles first. Oh, oh wow, okay. That is very specific. And also, again, if you resonate with the messages so far and you would like to purchase the extended reading video, you can just go ahead and check out the link down below in the description and also in the pinned comments. And in the extended, we are going to take a deeper look into what's going on in your love life with each of these two men and also future prediction about your connection with either of these two men okay Okay, so now I am going to shuffle some cards for the King of Cups over here. look at the card at the bottom of the deck it says you are the one for me you're the one for me so these two men <laughs> they feel like you are the one for them and it's up to you to choose which one you want to go with Okay, so I already pulled out some cards for each of them and it's so crazy that the energy between these two men are like the complete opposite, okay? This is so crazy because look at this. We have sadness and I did say, I did mention that the king of pentacles is feeling sad right now. Okay, this person is feeling sad. Look at that. Sadness. Crying. This person is crying. This person is feeling sad. Okay, this person is feeling really sad. Look at this. Negative emotions. Jealousy, anger, sadness, obsession, attachment, inner conflict. This person... Is not doing so good. I think that what this person really wants to tell you is that they are not doing good themselves. 
they're not doing good mentally they're not doing good physically the king of pentacles okay this person that you have known for a while this person that you have known for a couple of years this person loves you so much they want to be with you they see you as the one they see you as their future spouse they want to build something with you they want to build something meaningful they even you know sometimes they even fantasize of marrying you or building a life together with you <clears throat> having a family with you but this person is feeling really sad okay they are currently dealing with a lot of negative emotions and they are feeling really really sad about something maybe they feel sad about their life they see you as their defined feminine okay so if this person believes in soulmate or twin flame that type of stuff i think that this person sees you as their defined feminine okay they see you as their divine feminine and they really want you so badly like this person really really wants you so badly but they're sad why are they sad we have magic manifesting i think that the reason why this person is really sad is because they have been trying to manifest you into their life they have been trying to attract you more into their life they have been trying to manifest a relationship with you but it's just not happening i think that this person feels like having a relationship with you is not meant to be or it's not destined even though they hope that it's destined i i just think that this is the type of person that believe in destiny they believe in fate and this person is really hoping that the fates are in their favors when it comes to this connection that they have with you but somehow no matter what they do no matter what they wish for it's just not happening hmm what you should know about this person is that this person is going through a lot of mental turmoils right now they're going through a lot of negative I would say negative emotions, negative thoughts, maybe negative thoughts about themselves, not just about this connection that they have with you, but also negative thoughts about themselves. I think this person is going through a lot right now. I think that this person is looking back at the past as to what they did to you and i think that this person doesn't feel worthy of you i feel like this could be the reason why they haven't told you what they really want with you that is because they feel unworthy of you they feel incredibly unworthy of you let me pull out some more cards.
Yeah, see? Look at this. We have the Justice card. And then we have the Star card. This person is wishing upon the stars for you. This person is trying their best to manifest a relationship with you. But at the same time, they're not taking action. And that is the problem. They want to manifest a beautiful, meaningful connection with you, but they're not taking action. Because they feel like whatever they did to you in the past, it was so wrong and they know that it was so wrong. They know that they have disappointed you and they are trying to bring justice into this situation because they feel really bad about it. But at the same time, even if they do something about this and fix the situation, they know that they can probably never be with you because they see you as the star. They feel like you are out there somewhere far away, far out of, you know, out of their reach or like out of their leak you know you are somebody that is out of their leak and no matter what they do they seem to unable to reach for you to reach for the stars you know to reach to reach far for you and this is how this person is thinking about this situation right now that they have with you But look at this, the card at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands, which is about taking action, taking physical action, and moving forward really, really fast. This is a very fast energy, something that is moving, something that is changing, something that is coming forward. I think this person really wants to come forward to you. They really do. They feel really guilty about something. Maybe this person ghosted you in the past or they disappointed you or they lied to you or something and they feel really guilty about it. And I feel that right now this person is trying to have some space away from you because they need a lot of time to think about this because they feel really bad about something it's almost like this person is hiding away because they are so embarrassed as to what has happened before and they are still dealing with that deep guilt that they have within themselves towards you but they do want to make a move. I can definitely tell you that. They do want to make a move. They do want to take action. Okay, so with that being said, I want to move on and take a look at what can we understand better about the King of Cups. Again, this person could be somebody new that you will meet later on. Maybe you haven't met this person just yet. Or maybe you have met this person and this is somebody that is fairly new in your life, okay? So let's take a look what we have to know about the King of Cups. So first of all, we have light attributes. So this person could be a light masculine person, as in... <clears throat> as in their energy we are talking about energy over here okay so this person is somebody that is spiritually awakened or somebody that is emotionally mature like i said this person has emotional intelligence and this person has a very bright 
light masculine energy so this person wants to tell you that they want to be a good friend of yours or maybe this person is already a good friend of yours so maybe you are friends with this person right now but they definitely have interest in you okay they have a crush on you they really do like you okay i see this person wants to surprise you with a date or they want to surprise you with a gift and this person wants to be in the present moment with you okay they want to go with the flow for now but they know what they want and what they want is you okay what i mean by going with the flow it, it's like they want to go with the flow with where this friendship is going to like which direction this friendship is going to based on your own decision but when it comes to their own decision about this connection it's very obvious that they like you and they already know what they want which is you okay they want you they're after you but they will let you make your own decision as well so this person the king of cups this person will not rush you or force you to make a decision of course no they're not going to do that they will let you choose your own destiny of course if you want them that's good if you don't want them that's okay this person is like no rush no forcing anything no they're pretty chill okay i feel like this person <coughs> whoops excuse me sorry i feel like this person is pretty chill and this person is you know somebody that gets along pretty well with other people and this person is quite social sociable as well they like to socialize so this person wants to tell you that they want to build something with you so maybe this person is currently building a business or something and they want to work together with you but also this card can also represent that this person wants to build a meaningful and a deeper you know a more meaningful deeper intimate connection with you a relationship with you this is what they want and i think that this person will say it when the time is right okay again they're not going to rush it they're not going to force it upon you but when the time is right when they receive a green flag from you a green light from you i think that this person will tell you how they really feel and what do they want with you this person is pretty straightforward i gotta say okay this king of cups is pretty straightforward with how they feel and what they want with you okay let me take a look at any last messages about this king of cups So we have the two of wands which is a card about seeing a future together with you this is about moving forward having a vision having a plan so this person wants to come up with a plan okay they want to come up with a plan to approach you to impress you in a way we also have the five of sword and the seven 
oh no this is the nine of wands we have the five of sword and the nine of wands but in the reverse position so this person okay they do not like competition i can tell you this person is very very clear with what they want and what they want is you and they are going to get it okay let me tell you this person is going to get what they want but not in a way of like forcing you and being toxic towards you no it's not like that it's more of like you know this person will be very persistent in making effort for you taking action towards you they will be quite persistent when it comes to that so i think that this person is not afraid to be in competition as well at the same time so what i mean by that is that if this person knows that you have somebody else in the picture they're not going to stop going up to to go after you you know they're still going to go after you they're going they're not going to stop so even if you do have somebody else in the picture not in a relationship of course that would be crazy but i mean let's say you are dating someone else and this person knows about it this will not make them stop chasing after you you know like this person will still chase after you until you give them a green light that you do want to be with them if you don't want to be with them that's okay they will accept it either way you know they will accept it it's okay but if you give them a green light i think that this person will take every chances that they can get with you okay they're not going to stop so this is what i have for you my amours and i am going to continue this to the extended reading video so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out the link down below in the description and also in the pinned comments to purchase the extended and of course follow my instagram as well for more content and don't forget to subscribe like this video and also click the bell ring so you will not miss any new videos that i upload and i will be back see you Mwah.